This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. This is Diggs. This is our store in Toronto, and I don't like stuff on the sand bed. Hmm. So this must make me very unhappy. And it does. Why is it here? Because what I do sometimes is start collecting frags before I'm going to glue them down. And I do these glue down videos um, as I sort of build up this tank here. And I like to just talk to you guys through my thought and placement as I'm going along and doing it. Oh, what is this? People think that these are bad. I'm going to disagree. I don't think they're bad. We have them throughout the store. And I've done a video on them before. Ask Starina Starfish. I'll post it if you guys want to see it and why I think they are not so bad. But let's say you did want to get rid of them and you've decided that they are bad. Just go out and get one of these Harlequin shrimp and you will not have an Ask Starina problem, um, air quotes, problem anymore. Because that's all these guys eat, our starfish. Okay, that was a good little sidetrack. We got that out of the way. What are we going to add? How's this tank doing? What's going on? What's everyone saying? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up is this? 500 bucks. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys must love me. I really appreciate that. As you know, my beloved 1999 CRV was stolen. But on this GoFundMe page, you guys can say, hey, March, we love you and we want to support you. And here is some dinero. So you can buy a new one. A couple new additions that really didn't need any gluing down was this. I added a beautiful, amazing uh, Maxima clam. And he looks as happy as a clam. Now I know where that saying comes from. Maybe I should turn off the flow so I can give you a top-down look, actually. But this is a... Hmm. Oh, crap. It's so easy. It's escaping me. Dylan, the coral encyclopedia is on the way. Dum, 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 here I come. Dum, 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 here I come. Yes. Oh. Huh. A canthophilia. Maybe a, a bluish-green canthophilia. A cantho. Is it a cantho? Or... Are we, are we certain? Or Cyanarina, one or the other. Second guessing myself. When I put it in, I thought Cyanarina. Now looking at it, I'm thinking Acantho. I like that Dylan is also stumped. Canthophilia. I'm going with Acantho, I think. I'm going with Acanthophilia. When you hear us say Acantho, going short form. And now you're saying Cyanarina, okay, whatever. Let's move on. Okay. Comment below if you know what it is. We're gonna add, um, this pagoda right over here, he keeps falling over. One of my favorite corals of all time. This indophilia I added and I keep trying to stick him on that rock and he just wants to be there so I think I'm gonna leave him. And some pipe organ, but from the time that I added it to the sand bed till now, it doesn't look too hot. It's got some sponge growing in between. You see that? Kind of smothering and killing some of the polyps. Some goldenrod, anacropora, which is kind of a cool coral because it's not an acropora, it's an anacropora. And it's kind of lost some of its gold. It's looking a little yellow. This long tentacle green toadstool, which came out of our six gallon over here. Let me show you. We did a big overhaul. I actually did a video on it, but we don't ever shoot these things in order. Um, looking very minimalist. It came out of there and I want to add it, I think, up here where this acan died. And I don't know what happened. You know what? Hmm. Let's go to our trusty AI app. Da -da -da -da. Actually, we're now controlling them through Mobius. Don't ask me why. Awesome pumps. If you're looking for a very good wave maker, that's my fat thumb. That's a thumbs up giving to Nero's. We're gonna hit feed mode. I like that little shark. 10 minutes. Flow is gonna turn off. Thank you AI for being so great. I'm not sure why the light dimmed, um, but it has. What the shit? Why are the lights dimming? I didn't know they do that. What the shit? Okay, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going back to the, my AI app. Sorry. I'm going old school. Here, feed mode. There we go. I consider myself a pretty patient person, except for when it comes to technology. I have no patience for technology. Ah. Okay, this is the way an aquarium is really meant to be viewed top down. Think about it. When you go snorkeling, you're going diving, how are you looking at the corals? Like this or like this? Not like this. Like this. This is how you're looking at them. Look at this cup coral. Man, so happy. The phosphates in this are through the roof. We are undetectable on our Hannah checker and look at how the LPS are doing. Some of the acro that I'm trying to grow in the basement, I definitely cannot say the same for, but these ones look remarkable. Speaking about acans, actually, I promise we're going to get to gluing corals in a second. 
Um, we're getting some crazy, crazy, amazing, amazing acans coming shortly from Australia. Hammer coral that we fragged with the Dremel. It's looking really good. You should check out that video if you want to learn how to frag hammer corals. Actually, you can always search. We have, I think, 600 videos now out there. So if there's a topic, um, we get a lot of emails asking us for stuff and I just end up responding saying, hey, yeah, we've done that video. This hammer looks good. I'm still looking for the perfect torch coral to add here. Some of the leathers on top and I'm being a little indecisive with acros. I haven't really chose any yet. I was growing some downstairs. And like I said, phosphates got quite high and they were not terribly happy about that. Uh, pieces that we've glued down so far, like these Duncan, are looking fantastic. Um, this is split. This is our bounce Rhodactus mushroom. One of my favorite pieces is Dylan's Ultron Favia. Why do we call it Dylan's Ultron? Because back in the day, before we set up these, Dylan had an innovative marine Fusion 20 set up right here. And he grew that little Favia out from like a little itty bitty nothing piece of coral. So we attribute and give him credit where it's due. I didn't even know Tia added that fish. Who are you? Hello. Oh. These available now, Villa 24. Check out this sexiness for an aquarium with stands. But the way the stands work, what we've done, because we're clever, evil geniuses, this tank is made to fit down to the millimeter with this from IKEA. This is called the Besta. You can get it with 50 different drawer and door colors, combinations. You want pull out, you want two doors, handles, whatever you like. This is for a customer. This is their glossy black one. There's so many different styles, it's actually sickening. It can give you a headache. So if you grab the tank, you just go to your local Ikea, order it online. I think it's like a hundred bucks for the stand. That's called the Villa, V-I-L-A, 24 gallon all-in-one. Today's just feeling like a one old big fucking sidetrack day. Okay, I was trying to talk to you about this. What happened to this Aiken? Everything else in the tank, with the exception of some brown acro, flourishing, flower pots, toadstools, Aiken, 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 Aiken. Look how happy they are. Jumping out of their skeleton. Couldn't be happier. Textbook lore, Aiken Lord. That's what we're looking at. Is right here. Alveopora, this funky green thing. Everything amazing. Except this one. What changed? The phosphates got high. So I started to add some Roophos, which is a phosphate remover. And then the next day, this is it here. If you ever want to lower phosphates, highly effective, highly powerful. Really does the job. It's a sponge. It's not a sponge. It, it acts like a sponge for phosphates. And so I did that, and the next day that guy was gone. So I don't know if they're related, but that piece is going to come out right now, actually. And this is one of my least favorite things about owning this business or being in the hobby or reef keeping in general is taking out uh, dead coral. That sucks. You like to say a prayer before it's gone to coral heaven? No. Okay. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Don't get used to it. This is our tripod. We do own one. We don't have a gimbal. Maybe we'll start a GoFundMe for that. Just decided if we reach that GoFundMe goal of five grand for March's new car, I'm going to give away a Radeon XR30 Blue or Pro, whatever you want, to somebody who um, donated just to say thanks and do something fun. So, okay, check this out. Steady cam. Isn't that nice? Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also adding a forest fire. Digitata right there a blue pineapple tree coral because I just I love it and I like corals that are easy to keep and fast growing and blue which is just an unusual color really for any coral um, I would say even more so in the leather family a Kenya tree because it's a classic and I hold it dear to my heart even though it's super common and not the prettiest coral it doesn't have to be for you to enjoy it you don't always have to buy the craziest most colorful stuff I just like I like stuff that's easy wow you're doing a great job there sir keep cleaning whatever you're cleaning and I really like this yellow green sort of Ghanipora flower pot here and I want to add a little bit more to this thing okay let's start gluing I'm always using the same glue which is oh please focus hello Bulk Reef Supply Super Glue Gel Extra Thick. This is what I use on this tank here. It's also the same one that I use, or that we use in the shop to glue all of our coral frags down. So I'm gonna start with one piece because I already know where I want it to go, which is this Japanese long tentacle green toadstool coral. And I want it here just because this is a similar, this is like a blue long tentacle toadstool, which I've never seen before until I guess now until it's here, but I think these two would complement each other nice just because they're completely different colors, but they're the same sort of species of coral. So I think one next to the other 
blue against green, um, uncommon against very rare. I think it'll just look nice. So I'm going to do the same thing I always do and add. I'm going to do a little bit more because I found actually the pieces that have been glued were falling off. So that's more than I usually use just a teardrop. Hold it and that's it. He's kind of bent over right now because he's been sitting on the sand for far too long. This video has been a couple weeks in the making, but he will correct himself and be fully erect and go up towards the light in no time. Montipora Digitata. This is the forest fire variety. Really nice orange and red with the green tips. I find that they don't like that much light. So I wouldn't go and stick them right up here like I would most hard coral. I'm thinking he's going to grow quite quick as he begins to um, establish himself. I'm thinking maybe right here. And I'll fill in this whole area with a nice sort of red green. This is a piece that, I don't know, doesn't always grow for me. It keeps well and the polyps will come out. And a lot of what we have in the store has come in as trade-ins from other people. So I think I'm going to try right there. How do we feel? I wish we could do this live so you guys can say, No, March, you're an idiot. Don't put it there. Um, but there's no orange in there. So I'm always trying to contrast colors, but also put it where it's going to do well. So on this one, I'm just going to snip the bottom off. Actually, even better. Hold on. Okay, actually, I'm going to use one of these. You can find these on our site, reefcasa.com. We ship them internationally. Oh, please focus. What this is, is a frag holder rock. That's what we call it. And basically, it's just got a spot right here in the middle to stick your plug. And then this is going to cover with algae. It looks a little bit unsightly now because it's super white and it's going to be like stark. But it will turn purple and I'll show you all you have to do is place it. So it looks kind of stupid, I know, but like maybe two weeks it's going to be covered. And boom, you just stick that piece inside and that's it. The reason why these are good is because if I want to move this or take it out to frag it, it's not glued to the rock. And this is quite a fragile piece. So even just removing it from the rock um, or bumping into it, this is a piece you're going to make accidental frags of all the time. So this just allows me to be way more mobile with a piece that uh, hopefully is going to grow and hopefully we're going to frag out of. So what you could do then is glue you know, this bottom piece here. I think I'm just going to leave it loose. I'm going to see how he does because I just did a major change in lighting from here to here. Okay, tripod's not as fun as having a Tia. So I'm going to hand the camera off to her and she's going to record me. Hello. She's going to record me gluing the final remaining pieces here. So what I wanted to say about this um, before we took our interruption was that it's not doing so well, but I think it'll still recover even though it has some weirdness going on in there. This, I believe it was already up somewhere and dropped. I think I had it up here. No? It's too close to the hammers. Way too close. Yeah. Um, here. Is that a good spot? Too close to the group. Angle it. Angle it out. That's better. That's yeah. prime real estate though. And this is going to shade everything. Everything. So I think I want to go a little okay. bit lower. Hammer. Yeah. Is that just weird? away from the reach of the hammers. It's still kind of close to the hammer. Yeah. Hmm. Can you put another little rock in there? What, uh, I'm against putting stuff in the sand bed. Nope, we're not doing that. Put a little rock though and glue it on the rock. What if I glue the side of it to there? Does that look stupid? You can say it looks stupid. You yeah, can, you have you can to say, hey, the bottom off, like this bottom business. I kind of like that it has that mushroom shape though. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. There? No. Hmm? What about the other side? Oh, true. I forgot. There's a whole other side of the tank. There's already one pagoda over here though. It's a lot of pagoda. Yeah. That's aggressive. You have like a very crazy sponge growing in here. I kind of like it. You yep. see it? The pink stuff? Not the pink one. These beige one. ones. Yeah, but I see pink. What do you, you see? Pink? Yeah. I see pink. What just came out? Did okay. You see that? Yeah, I caught it on the camera. What the heck Something was that? Something squirted out of the a can. A, something just took a dump on yeah. camera. <laughs> um, Monty's there. But kind of on top of that leather. Look, the leather will grow around, right? No, too much sheet. How about in the, why don't I kind of put it back here? Let it do its thing. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah. I kind of like that. Angle it out more though, like towards me, so that does that make sense? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Glue, okay, actually yeah, as you can see I glued it once. So this will be the second time, I'm going to go a little bit heavier with the glue. 
Hold it for like 15 seconds. 15? Yeah. I'm gonna hold it for seven. Ah, oh, living on the edge. Crazy man. <laughs> Next, we have a Kenya tree. So let's think about this. One. Kenya tree. Yeah, I love Kenya tree. Okay, don't talk shit about my Kenya. Just help me put it in a good spot. <laughs> I love this. Tia doesn't like this coral. She I do, but I like it in like. Don't shit on my Kenya tree, things. woman. No. Okay. Okay, put it in the back somewhere. Shafta is what you're saying? Also, woman, I'm gonna start calling you man or sir. Sir, sir. Likes, sir really likes Kenya sir. tree. And I think Kenya tree should go low. I think it should get shafted to the back of the tank. No, don't yeah. talk. She doesn't mean that. I she, mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that. Because it'll give him room. It's gonna get messed up by the hammer, too. You know what? If he gets a little stung, is it the end of the world? Yeah, then he's gonna start releasing some growth inhibitors, yo. Is that what happens? Yep. I'm still unconvinced. Didn't Tidal Garden say, tell you? Why is it so close to my face? <laughs> oh yeah, if Tidal Garden said it, I believe it. Yeah, you don't believe me. I like how... You're, you're not You're not Tidal Garden. I'm not Tidal Garden. There is no There is no other. Okay, I don't like this on the sand bed, but it's not working. That's a sand bed coral. Uh, is it? It is. Like in the ocean. Is this found on the sand bed? You know what? I've never seen one in the ocean, so I can't... Oh, I just got messed up. I've never seen one in the ocean either. I keep putting it here and it keeps floating away because it obviously doesn't want to be there. Wow, it's so puffy. Are yeah. you seeing this? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay. Just I'm leave it for now. Temporary. We'll put you back. But I don't think this is going to be your forever home. I think you're too big for here. And you ain't getting any smaller. Actually, it looks kind of nice. I here. like okay. it. It looks like it's part of the rock. Blue pineapple tree. Got to be one of my favorite softies. So, okay, wait. So if this is blue pineapple, yeah, what is that? Not one? blue. Look side by side. Check yeah, it out. it's Dylan calls it uh, ghostly green. Ghostly. I don't know. They're similar. They're probably the close same. Close but no cigar. Close but no cigar. You know where that comes yeah. from? No. Google close but no cigar. Where is it from? Uh, it's me. like from back in the day from the circus. If you won a prize or you didn't win, they'd say, "Oh, close," because the cigar was just the. Anyways, we're getting really I got it from my grandma. Right there? But, yeah, like, but on the edge more, like glue it to the edge of the stack. But that means this is going to be absolutely useless as a spot. You, what are you going to put there? Uh -huh. so, like um, a hammer, probably. I don't think I want more hammer. I think I want more gold variety. Hammer? I, you're right. I actually want gold hammer. You okay. do want more hammer. Okay, blue. Oh, right there. What? That spot. Right there. Right there. You already have a Kenya tree. That's a... Yo. What? Right there. Where are you pointing to? This? The Kenya tree. That's not Kenya. Yeah, no, it it's something else. The Kenya is purple. This is like a, a different one. Like highlight. Kenya in highlight. Okay, but I think, so move it an inch forward. Yeah, on the tip, on the tip. Oh, that feels nice. Okay. It's locking. So sometimes, if you don't have a Tia with you or someone to help you glue stuff, and you just find a paint, a, a pee in the, blah, 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 blah. you find a place in the rock work that just, sometimes you get lucky. It just fits. It's like ta. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. That is the spot. Who's next? We have some Ghani. I like the, these Ghani. Eggplant. Eggplant. Green eggplant. Purple eggplant. It's green. Uh, but it's got purple polyps. Yes. Listen, I do not make up the names. I just work here. You think he's going to get stung? Yeah. Yep. You know, I really... I like him there. Leave him there. I don't like that he's on he the sand bed. He fills it in. Does he? Yeah, just put it next to what the What if rock. I take him off this base? Yeah. So that I don't, you know what it is that's bothering me? It's the base. Mm. Yeah. I think it anchors it nicely under the sand. But I could glue it or stick it right here. It's really close to the Favia. Okay, Favia, move over. Wow. I don't think a Favia is something that's puffy, but geez. Blue. It's really puffy. Ooh, very puffy. Okay, no, yeah. I'm going to knock that piece off the hockey puck. I'm going to show you how to play hockey. I'm going to talk to because it's just wasting time to fix Look how March does. Buy these on our website, reefcasa.com. And then, very carefully, with extreme precision, this is not going to go well. I can feel it. It's not going to work. Never mind go well. <laughs> Hmm. 
sharpen the saw. This is not it. That's oh, okay, hold on, I'm ready back. We don't even... We're coming. You stay here, I don't want you to get scared by the most. Oh, how about this? Chisel? Hammer. Do it on camera. Okay, come. That is not what I expected to happen. I think you need a bandsaw. I wish we had one. Wow. Okay. Some strong epoxy. Yeah. Well, Sorry, Coral. That's what I was expecting. There we go. Maybe. So if you guys are ever worried about your corals, They'll be okay. <laughs> Ta-da! I like that. I'm gonna glue it. And then move the Fabia. And I'm gonna pray that the Fabia behaves nicely. I'm gonna stick it really far this way. And we still got two more. So, eggplant. Prime real estate. It's a nice one. Right there. I feel like I, I feel like the flow might be too high. Where were you pointing? Here? Up. Here. Mm, too close to the Duncan. This is one of my favorite Ghanis in the store. Here. Move the tree. Toadstool. Temporary. I want to see if he opens before committing. I want a big golden anacropora. That one I think you gotta put in the back. Up top? But I feel like they don't need as much light. No, no, like in over. On the other side? Yeah. Are we recording? Yeah. Uh, shit, where? In yeah. Here. Oh, that's kind of a cool spot. I like that. It's going to get out competed by the Duncan? No. Maybe. I kind of like that. And it's hard to find, it's fitting nicely, and it's hard to find stuff that fits there. So you know what? I'm going to take your advice, and we're going to do a lot of glue. Generous helping. And I'm going to stick it right, almost kind of sideways. We'll see how it does. Yeah, it'll grow. It'll yeah, it should. And the way the color is will change too. That is a really cool piece, that leather, huh? On the bottom? That, yeah. The yeah. And that's it. Check it out. Everything's glued down. See how nice everything looks when it is off the sand bed? Is it just me? I don't know. Is it just me? Somebody just asked a um, customer that was just in here, how do we keep the sand bed so clean? It's usually pretty white, pristine. Um, there's a good amount of flow with the two Nero 5s running on this 90 gallon. And I do like using a lot of these. So that is, um, I believe that's a strawberry conch. And we use fighting conch, uh, sand sifting conches, sand sifting starfish, Nasarius. So there's a lot of cleanup crew that you don't see living underneath the sand bed, constantly stirring it, eating detritus, moving it. And that way we're never um, challenged with the task of trying to keep it clean. And that works with just about all the tanks here in the store. You can see the same thing here. Pretty much clean. This tank gets like no attention. We don't do anything to this tank and it, it does pretty well. Same with this one. This one gets a water change every two weeks, but again, sand bed looks really good. Just we're big believers on cleanup crew. So reef janitors and that kind of stuff. Um, we keep a lot in every single tank. So I think it shows and then it looks good. It is a little bit expensive, but how do you want your tank to look? Okay, we're getting sidetracked for the last time because now we're talking about cleaning up the sand bed. I think we're gonna wrap up this episode. I'm really happy with the way this tank is looking and I'm thinking maybe to come to reef stock. I think there's one coming up this September. So I will let you know if we're gonna come there, we'll bring some goodies, some hats, some t-shirts, some stuff to give away. And that's it. If you got any questions about anything you saw in this video, you can always comment below or even better, shoot us an email fragboxcorals at gmail.com. I really like this new orange back grass 
full of personality and fun. That's it. Okay, guys, we'll see you back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.